welcome to medha art studio i am artist medha we will be drawing daffodils today this is the material we are going to be using watercolor pans a basic ones you will need a brush 9 or 10 number round brush uh you can have one tiny brush either 0 or 1 or 2 number a pencil so remember to draw light a water pot filled with clean water kitchen napkins kitchen towels for wiping your brush or accidental spill a water color paper a thick one we'll start with a pencil okay remember to draw light and decide how large you want your flower to be so if you want your flower to be say this wide like you have always have to leave some space uh draw a light circle a pencil drawing and then uh, decide where is your center you have to draw very light okay and we are going to start by drawing three uh petals that they have to meet at the center like this so the center of the petal would always be this dot so we are going to draw three petals like that Here you have three petals. Okay. And after that, we are going to draw three more petals here, here and here between all the petals, between these three petals. So again, they are keeping this as your center axis. Okay. So Okay. And a circle in between. Okay, it doesn't have to be a perfect circle. You just have to have a circle as a marking, that's all. And a smaller circle in between. Okay? So this is what it will look like. next we are going to draw the stem so it can just be remember the center just continue it down and draw a thin curved line and you will draw another line here and another line here okay Here's a closer look of the drawing. Okay, so let's start using your big uh, brush, the number ten brush. You are going to uh, dip it in water. Take all the water out. Okay. 
you're going to take some yellow we are just going to paint three for the first three petals right now one two and three okay not these three We are going to let it dry, wash your brush and we will wait for it to dry. Let's paint the next three uh, petals now, one, two and three, okay, with the same brush that we were using for these three and uh, yellow. So wet your brush get some yellow out and we are going to paint over that so we will overlap it and this time we are going to do a little variation we are going to take a bit of orange We are going to give slight touches of orange at the edges here. While it is wet. Just separates it. So it kind of brings it to the top. one now with a little bit of orange again we'll give a small outline around the edges while it's wet you can even do a couple of lines like this just for added texture and the last leaf next we'll overlap it again I'm going to always work from top to bottom and while it's still wet we'll just pick a little bit of orange and this little bit of orange and just roughly mark the edges you can even do a little bit of line work and that's it for it to stand out wash your brush and let's let it let it dry We are going to do the green stem next. So we are going to continue with the same brush. Try to always uh, use the 
a number 10 brush it will help you paint faster and quicker okay and let's pick the green that we have it has to start from the center of the flower that's where the and start under it and just draw a stem doesn't have to be perfect and next we are just going to take the darker green and mix it in here so you get a slightly darker version and just draw extra line all around the edge so you get a slightly darker side to it the shadow and you can add a little dark shadow on over here too you can make it a little more darker if you want just a dab of two of the darker green should make it interesting there will be more shadow more darker tones here clean your brush Again, we'll pick some green, the lighter green, and start with a thin point. And as you press it down, your brush stroke will get wider. And just like we added a darker tone there in the stem, we are going to add a slight. Um, darker tone in the center you can make it darker if you like Clean it off and just the same way we will repeat the other flower, other leaf. So start with a pointed brush and then as we come down we are going to press it down and drag it. So pointed tip, very light pressure and as you come down start pressing the paper brush down more and more and more. If you ran out of color you can reload the brush and give it another coat with some more water mix in the darker color and again thin and as you come down you can go really dark Just to add more dimension to it okay there's our flower <coughs> we're gonna draw the center next so let's always start with a clean brush and we are going to use orange and red a little bit of red Okay, so before we use the colors, we are just going to use plain water and give it a circle. Don't uh, just draw a very, uh, just with water, paint the circle. And let's take orange and just draw very uh, squiggly, rough, uh, frilly uh, lines all around the, you can go a little bit beyond the water edges also. We want a almost frilly kind of uh, texture for the trumpet okay and you can 
take either add a little more darker tones here and there you can even do a couple of lines that go to the center you can darken the lines going out okay and at a, in a couple of places you can also add a touch of darker orange so you get mix of uh, colors And with your thin round brush, you just you're just going to take a little bit of um, green and just add a couple of dots here and there in the smaller circle, and maybe a couple of dots of of black. After it has dried, we are just going to draw a few details. So we will take our orange and a bit of uh, red and mix it. And do it a few lines and touches here and there. Your big brush and with a little bit of orange mixed into your yellow lots of water we are going to just do a few shadows here and there there's always shadow underneath on the lower petals just let it go very just a few suggestions Just give a light wash here and for a more softer uh, effect where it fades out you can just wet it first like this and then taking some
everything gets faded and lighter. You might want to do a few touches here and there, uh, maybe darken, maybe lighten or just warm it up by adding orange uh, to the mixture, just a little bit, not too much of orange, remember. Clean your brush well when you think you are done. That's it. Subscribe for more lessons. And until we meet again, keep smiling and keep painting.